G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography. In the last couple of videos, I've been demonstrating how a simple Photoshop workflow can transform even the most ordinary image into something spectacular. And if you want to learn Photoshop, take a look in the description. There's a link to a free introduction Photoshop course. It's a short, simple course that will get you started and comfortable in Photoshop and teach you all the basics, including what I'm going to show you here, to begin transforming your own images into the best image they absolutely can be. So let's jump in, let's take a look at this image. So I think you'll agree this one's okay, it's quite nice. However, when I was standing there capturing this image, it was an absolutely gorgeous sunset. There was a beautiful luminance to the clouds, there was a light washing across the water, and look, the RAW file here hasn't quite captured that, and that's quite normal. I spoke about that before, how RAW files aren't really the greatest thing for capturing in-camera incredible images. They capture a lot of information. It's up to us to make the images and transform them into something gorgeous. That's what we'll do here. Now, this image doesn't need very much. We're going to start with an auto curves as we normally do. So down to our adjustment layer icon here, select curves, and then click the auto button here and this will automatically adjust the exposure and the contrast. And you'll see it starts off with a base level like that there. Not too bad, but if we hold down Alt or Option, click Auto again, we get the rest of the options here. And if we click through those, oh, look at that one, gorgeous. Oh, that's really nice too. Wow, they're all really nice. Those top three are all probably better than that bottom one. But I like the red in that one. That's really gorgeous. Oh, that's nice too. In fact, we might go with that, it's a little more natural. Let's run with that, click OK. But it doesn't really matter, just choose whichever one suits the vision and direction you wish to take your image. Okay, and this image probably doesn't need much more at all. Look at this already, a huge improvement with that one auto curve. Let's add another curves layer. And what we might do is just brighten up that central region there. Okay, so one point in the middle there, click and drag up a little bit, and again, Command or Control I to invert to hide that to black. Press B for brush. And yeah, opacity at about 40 and flow at about 50%. And I'll, I'll explain exactly why in the introduction course, why we do all these settings, exactly the reason behind them. So you have a complete understanding. But we're just going to brush that brightness into the center there. That will help draw our attention into the most interesting area. Let's give it a contrast boost. So curves again. Two points, one at the top, one towards the bottom. The bottom one goes in a downwards direction, top one up a little bit. And you know what? I think we're done. Let's take a look at before and after here. This image didn't need much. It just needed a little bit of a boost from those three adjustment layers before. Okay, just lacking something. Didn't quite have the vibrance and the energy of the moment when I was standing there and captured that. It does now, look at that, absolutely beautiful. So once again, take a look in the description, you'll see a link which will take you to that free introductory Photoshop course, which will get you comfortable, it will get you started, and it will give you the basic skills within Photoshop to be able to transform your images from something like, where are we? This here, and in no time at all, bring them to that level there. Thanks again for watching along, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.